For installing a bike tire, you get one section on, right, with your hand, and it takes forever, and you're not good at it. And then the other section just comes off, and right, you, you move your hands around to do this, and then this original section comes off. So use a clamp. It's very light, and you know, it's the extra hand that you need, that you didn't have, that you now have. So you have the clamp right here, and now I can work on getting the other part of the tire on. And it's so, right, already at this point, just doesn't, you see, always comes off. So, right, I'm just gonna clamp it right here. Boom. Okay, so now I have like 66% done. And we'll just continue very easily. I remember the last time I did this, it took me an hour. Seriously, it was so frustrating. And I see the guys in the bike shops, they do it in like, you know, 30 seconds. I'm sure if I did this day in and day out, I'd figure out a better way to do it, but. This seems pretty smart to me. All right, now we're at the difficult part. We have to use the tool. And by the way, the, the tube is inflated just a little bit, because if it's not, it sort of falls out of the... There we go. There we go. There we go. Did it. That was the fastest, that was the fastest change I've, look at that, it's under two minutes. Fastest change I've ever done in my life. Wait a minute, oh, see, I take, the moment I take the clamp off, the moment I take the clamp off. Okay, now, that was phase one. Maybe I should have kept the clamp on, we'll see. Phase two is getting it into, into, but getting it around. Yep. Okay. Yeah. No, I do not. I think the single clamp tech, uh, the clamp technique is good for the first phase, which is getting the tire over, but it is not good for the second phase. It restricts, sticks the motion of the, of the tire too much. Too inflated. I still think it's too inflated. And now I've deflated it pretty much all the way. Now that I've got the hang of it. Yeah, that's that's helping a lot. Yeah, now we are equal to the furthest progress we've ever made, which is um, we are about 85%. So I think we are further along than we've ever been. Okay. Just gotta let the fingers rest for, I think this is gonna be the final push. And if I can get this done under 20 minutes, this will be a new record for me because I definitely remember the last time it took like 45 minutes to an hour. I remember it, how exhausted I was. I didn't even want to ride after that. Oof. Oh yeah, did it, done.
World rec, world rec, not world rec. Personal best. Personal best. Forty PSI. We are now at seventy five. And we actually went above ninety there, We're at like ninety three. So, mission accomplished. I'm actually going to refer to this video if it takes another year for me to um, forget again how to really do this. But definitely clamps on phase one helped big time. Um, probably don't want it in. Yeah, you don't want it inflated at all for the second phase. The inflation, I thought it, I thought it was good, but no. The inflation... Um, ultimately proved wrong so did it in 16 minutes now and i bet you if i had to do another one i could do it in under 10 i really do if i had to do it again thanks for watching check the description below if you want to pick up bike pump bike tool clamp um good pump uh good tires 27 inches um new york city tires oh yeah Gonna have a good ride. Gonna have a good ride right now. Thanks for watching.